and how she would never be like that. And I was just like, you are throwing shade at so many celebrities, and I don't know, I don't even know if I should name half of them. But anyway, um, I thought that was entertaining. I'll probably find the chapter and put it somewhere on the screen. You can look into that. Um, but the last chapter that I feel like is the most relevant of right now would probably be chapter 25. And it's it's all about the N-word. So, ooh, I don't even know how we're going to get into this. So let me just quickly explain this chapter as quickly as I can because this video is already, is already long. I can see. Damn, this video is like 30 minutes. Okay, so Mon Martha goes to the hair salon and is getting her hair done. While she's in the salon, certain salons will have like a makeup. So it's like you have a, they'll have makeup that you can also buy there. So there's this saleswoman that comes in that is trying to sell her um, stylist, I forgot her name, her, her stylist, some lipsticks to sell. And she's like, well, you can take five for now and if you like them, I'll come back and you can get some more. She's like, you pay half and then pay the other half once you sell them all. And she's like listening to her and she's like, uh-huh, sure. So she it goes to the cash register to um to get to get the to get the money. And while she's at the cash register grabbing the money, the 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 uh, saleswoman, who is white by the way, um, says offhandedly as a comment, she's like, Boy, they sure are working me hard. They work me as hard as as inward hard R girl hard R inward <laughs> and mom Martha's like looking at a magazine and she looks up and she's staring at her and the white woman is staring back and she's just staring and staring for a second and then she looks back down because and in her mind she's like well she must have not actually said the inward like that must have just been in my head because obviously the stylist would have said something oh lord we got to get into it so she gives her the money the white woman goes away and uh, the stylist comes back over and starts talking to her. She's like, oh, you know why I didn't I, why I didn't say anything, right? And Mom Martha, she's just talking and talking and talking. And Mom Martha's like, wait, she really did say the N-word? And she's like, yeah. And the stylist is basically saying like, oh, you know, um, I, she, she, I let her say it because the N-word doesn't mean the same thing for white people as it does for us. She literally says this. <laughs> She's like, the N-word means something different for white folk than it does for black folk. And I know a white man could be the N-word too, so, and, and black people give the N-word too much power and this, that, and the other. If that doesn't sound familiar, I don't know what does. And so this concept made me go through so many emotions at one time. Because I feel like this conversation is a conversation we still have today. And um, I, think, I think going back and reading these, these books is really important. Especially listening to just going back and, and looking at the ideas of what a lot of these people have. Is, and a lot of the issues that they went through are, is still stuff that we go through today. Like if you go to go and listen to... Um, My nose is so it's so stuffed right now. I'm sorry. Um, if you go back and listen to some of the speeches during the um, during the the Civil War, they just they just talk about police brutality, and it, I just find it weird. Like the stuff that they are saying back then, that they said back then, is still relevant today. Like the stuff that they have issues with is stuff that we still have issues with today even though we're no longer slaves yes even though slavery is technically supposed to be over and racism is supposed to be supposedly supposed to be over it's just like the no one solved these problems so like the whole inward situation that happens at this hair salon is like word for word things that she said is like word for word I've heard come out of so many other people's mouths where like you know, someone says the N-word and it gets real controversial and everybody's like, it's just a word and, and anybody can say these words and blah, 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 and this, that, and the other, which I don't want to get into a conversation about the N-word today because Lord Jesus, I'll, I'm, I'm never going to, that's, uh, okay, that's a headache I'm not, I don't feel like dealing with today. But it's just like a lot of these things 
that are that's so subtly brought up which i feel like Gwendolyn Brooks did not do by accident i think some things i think some things she wrote just happened to be a coincidence but i i certainly feel like this was very purposeful and this was very um this this was very much so not done by accident you know so um it's just these these sorts of things very much are so relevant and that's why I think these things are like really important in the book um I don't even know what else to say after that shit <laughs> um so all in all I think my Martha is a very interesting book I suggest you read it I certainly would read it it's like one of those things where it's like 10 out of 10 would read again I'm very much so that glad that I read this book I think I kind of had the same experience where because I read this on my own I was able to appreciate this book a lot more there's also the book Weathery Heights I read a long time ago in, in uh, high school where I read it on my own over a summer and I appreciated it I feel like I appreciated it 10 times more because I read it on my own and not for a class but yeah so my battery is about to die and I can't talk about this book anymore um, even if I were to go on another tangent so I had a section where I talked about I would read quotes from the book that came across as kind of cringy but obviously since I love this book so much I want to read quotes that I loved or really really stood out to me or just kind of hit home for me and it's not as many as the last video but it's quite a few so let's try to get into it I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can Uh, she had never understood how people could parade themselves on a stage like that, exhibit their pr precious private identities, shake themselves about, be very foolish for a thousand eyes. She was going to keep herself to herself. She did not want fame. She did not want to be a star. It might, allow Mama, be an act of God. God may just have reached down and picked up the reins. Yes, Mon Martha cracked in. That's what you always say, that God knows best. Her mother looked at her quickly, decided the statement was not suspect, looked away. Three volumes and the most reasonable approaches. Yet there are chaps on that campus, young, younger than I am, who read it years ago, who know it, who have had it for themselves for years, who have been seeing it on their father's shelves since infancy. They heard it and they heard it discussed at the dinner table when they were four. As a ball is to me, so Parrington is to them. They've been kicking him around for years, like a football. I am still definitely what not what he can call pretty if he remains true to his idea of what pretty has always been. Pretty would be a little cream colored thing with curly hair. Or at the very lowest, pretty would be a little curly hair thing, the color of cocoa with a lot of milk in it. Certainly the Foxy Cats Club was not a representative of that growing soup of Southside organizations devoted to moral and civic improvements or to literary or other cultural pursuits. But if the root was sour, what business did she have up there hacking at a leaf? Uh, who loathed the darker members of her race and did rather enjoy advising them from time to time to apply lightning creams to the horror of their flesh because they ain't no sense in looking any worse than you have to, is there, dearie? She was afraid to suggest to him that, to most people, nothing at all happens. That most people merely live from day to day until they die. That after he had been dead a year, a doubtless fewer than five people would think of him oftener than once a year. That there might even come a year when no one on earth would think of him at all. Uh, before, I, before I close this out, I forgot a few things. Um, I ha my favorite chapter of the book was the chapter where Maude Martha and 
um, Paul went to that gathering where it was like, for, for, I don't know how to put it, it's like a ball kind of, and they go, and like, Paul ends up kind of like leaving my Martha in this corner, and then he goes and basically dances with this like, white woman I think she was, with like, kind of like, she was like a ginger, I think, I can't remember, and um, just the internal the internal thoughts of Mon Martha was very I just loved it I loved it man it was it was fantastic but um there was another thing that I almost forgot to explain I think there's a few chapters in there that's called high yellow and low yellow so in order in order for you to fully understand what that means basically high yellow and low yellow are like how do I put this? so there's there's think of this like gradient of dark skin to light skin there's kind of like this this totem pole if you will of like certain shades that are for it's, I don't know how to put it it's like a shade of light skin basically high yellow and low yellow are different like shades of light skin um I don't know how to properly accurately ex describe them but high yellow is like very 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 light skinned where low yellow is like in between ish like you're not light skin but you're not dark skin you're like somewhere kind of like in the middle um so just so you understand kind of like what those words mean there's that uh but my camera is about to die so i'm gonna have to leave you here if i have any other thoughts i'm gonna have to sit down and record them at a later time um yeah so after this once i charge up my camera again i'm going to do some tag videos and get back to reading shit <laughs> i gotta make sure i don't fall off the ball with my reading man Ugh.